Hello everyone, we're joined here again with my dear friend Aizawa. Oh, I'm your friend now? Yes. I will gladly label you as my friend. Maybe. Fair. Okay. But you keep talking about my lifespan, so that kind of docks you down a few bars. Sorry. Um, so for this video, we are going to be talking about the Class 1A students. Um, they are ranked already for by intellect. By intellect, the list that I'm looking at uh, is their midterm grades. Based off their test scores, they were ranked highest to lowest in the class. So there was a top five that we had, which we have pulled up. But not going off of that, we're making our own list of everything combined together in the students, such as their quirks, personalities, how much trouble they get into, including intellect as well on top of that. So who we feel are stronger heroes. We each have our own top five. We have five. our own top five. So And our personal reasoning. Our personal reasoning behind it. But this is the top five um, according to their midterms. It was Momo Yayorozu at number one. Katsuki Bakugo is number three. Tenya Ida was the second spot. Izuka Midoriya was number four. And Shoto Todoroki was number five. So those, just based off of midterm test scores alone, that's how the rankings yes. are. But this goes for Class 1A as a whole, but who we believe, believe like goes in the top five um, out of all of them. In the class in general? In general, it doesn't matter like, oh, this person is the smartest, so they belong at the top. But it also just goes... How much trouble they get into. It's also of, how strong their quirks are. Yes. Everything... How practical it is. Yeah. Do you want to give your list first or should I give mine first? I'll give mine. Their it's my class. All right, go I'll ahead. do it first. So I put my number one spot, I put Tenya Ida. Because okay. I have some reasoning for that. Not only is he super intelligent, which he is, but he has that leadership part of him. Mm. And he was so determined, not even when he wasn't even class rep at first. And he took charge. He knows how to do that. And he can plan strategically. He also has comes from a working family of heroes as well. So he has that background already. And he has good guidance from his siblings, like from his older brother, for example. And he has that hero mindset right off the bat. So that wasn't a struggle for him whatsoever. Strong quirk. Works really well. Um, and overall, I just think that I'd put him at the top. Am I allowed to add on to that? Yeah. Or mention one thing? Go ahead. One, th spoiler alert, Tenya Ida is not my first pick. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, one thing that I had to dock off of Tenya Ida was that when he found out about his brother getting attacked by the villain Sane, He does think a little bit rationally because he, was he just thinks with his head him. emotionally. But he didn't, kind of but he way. thought more so with his heart at that point because yeah. he was like, oh, this is the person that almost killed my brother. I'm but that's going very, to kill him. very reasonable. Whether though. he was going to lose or not, mm -hmm. he was willing to throw his life on the line, which is risky because he had never He was just lucky to have other people before. there. It's true. If he was by himself, he probably would have been killed, unfortunately. But he is, he's a very intelligent kid. Move on. Okay, my number two spot, I put Shoto Todoroki. Because, okay. once again, he has a father figure that, while they probably don't get along well, he has that part of him that he has some knowledge already coming from what being a hero is. And he doesn't need to be told what that is or figure that out for himself. But he was able to use both sides of his quirk and work on that and do everything at his own will both quirks are super powerful and he he's a quiet kid so he's not very vocal about how he feels about things but he's very yeah. smart he's very intelligent and he's very quick on his feet he's pretty competitive though yeah you realize because even after almost a full school year he still thinks of everyone as competition i put midoriya as number three Oh. While at first I was very suspicious because he doesn't have his own quirk and I know it's borrowed. I don't know where it's coming from, but I know it's not his. And that's fine, but he's been learning to control it a lot better. Very and he has the mindset of a hero despite not having a quirk originally, not being born with one. 
and he's learning to use it really well but he's starting to mentally put things together and figure out his own way to control it but he thinks like a hero and immediately acts like one and i think he has a lot of potential so that's why i put you it definitely in gave him a hard time right out the gate yes because i was suspicious because i didn't know that he didn't have a quirk but then i knew just by how his body got affected by using it then like that's not yours mm. so he needed to learn to control it a lot better which he has definitely for sure i know he'll sometimes struggle with that but he's improved a lot and he has grown a lot number four i put momo yayarozu while she is at the top of her class for sure for intellect which really helps uh she helps everyone out around her in the class in general she ha kind of has i would say like motherly nature that's what i was going kind to say. of motherly i guess instincts. i guess kind of like motherly instincts which can help a lot especially when you need to tend to injured people or citizens in general that you that need help she could be that person her quirk is very helpful it's very innovative for one i've never seen a yes. quirk like that before she can create literally anything all she has every quirk has their downfall of course but she also has potential but if she sometimes the way that she needs to kind of take a long time to think about what she's yes, going to do you, and it can be challenging you but. saw it for yourself when she and uh Shoto Todoroki were on a team fighting against you in one of their exams and how she uh, can overthink yeah and get a little uh flustered yeah in the middle of a fight that's the only thing that I have bad to say about her yeah. which is not necessarily bad but it's just a little something that she can work on uh next I put for a number five spot, I put Ochako Uraka. All right. Because she also has that motherly instinct just like Momo. But her quirk is another thing that she needs to work on is it can get her sick when she's trying to use it for too long, which everyone had something to work on when they're doing the training camps. Mm -hmm. um, but if she figures it out, and it has her own way of doing things and manipulating things, she could do really well. It's true. And even her, even if she was just a sidekick, maybe to another person in the class in the future when grown up and graduated, or even to another pro hero, she does really well. And she's also very smart. True. But, I don't know. I was starting to run out of people, and I could only think of all the bad people, and I'm like, well, she's also intelligent she's, and has a she's interesting quirk and she i just have anything wrong with her really yeah she she's comes in with a smile every yes. day and i'm just like sure she's not the most she's not the smartest one in the class no definitely not but she's not the dumbest one either we have some other there's ones in my class there's a small handful of your students that don't do as well but that's in every there's class, a handful of fad nuts in the class but everyone has them all right are we ready for my list oh yes Number one, Azuka Midoriya. He has the most potential, I believe, that I've ever seen. Not just in Class 1A, but in general. You spent more time with I've him spent a lot of time than I am with, I think, with outside of um, a lot of different people. Um, I just can understand him the most. I feel that's why I feel connected to him. He's just very, he's very intelligent. He is very much a people person. He will immediately care for someone if they're in need. He has the heart of a hero. He for does sure. have the heart of a hero. He was born with it, I feel like, even though he didn't have, have a quirk at first, like you said. Um, he's willing to learn. He wants to grow. He knows what he wants. He's got a strong head and heart about things. Um, great aspirations. He knows exactly what he wants, and he is determined but not He's so very far driven. that it becomes a problem like with Katsuhi Bakugo. He doesn't have example. as big of an ego, definitely. He knows how to keep a level head about things. Number two would be Momo Yayorozu. Um She was the smartest. I think, I believe she ranked number one in all of those testing. Like written tests at least. She well, was definitely for a midterm. She was up there at number one. Even when she first uh, walked into UA uh she was ready to learn and be the best that she could be um she's very determined she 
definitely knows that she's smart as well, which is kind of why I don't believe that she should be ranked higher than number two. Number three is Tenya Ida. Um, very intelligent and very mature for his age. Mm. Um, I have not met many students or children at his age that are as mature as him. Um, he does take things a little far and can act too proper sometimes. I don't know if he knows how to let go of like that personality. Like, how is he like at home? Does he act the same way? Is he always? I so would assume so. And always talks Maybe like just... big, his clean sentences. Doesn't stutter I think that really. a lot of it probably comes from him watching his brother for a long time, it's true. and he wanted to be just like his brother because he also was a pro hero and everything. And I don't know yes. if that personality is similar at all. He was or definitely if it's just him well. trying to be a hero since he was a child. He felt the need to kind of direct yes. things and like be loud enough to make sure people can hear him, keep people in line. But I admire that, especially in a school setting. It really yes. it's helpful. Um, number four would be Shoto Todoroki. Um, also very intelligent. He does have a bigger ego about things than Momoya Yorozu. Um, but not quite as much as Katsuki Bakugo, obviously. Mm. Um, but he knows that he wants to excel above everyone else in the class, so he's got a strong head about things like that. Um, I do feel some remorse for him because of... I do not know the full relationship with him and his father, but Endeavor, I have worked alongside him before for years, and he is quite difficult to handle sometimes. Um... So I can imagine being raised by someone like that can affect you quite a lot. And then my number five spot would be Katsuki Bakugo. Um, I know you don't want to put him in your top five at all, but he is a very strong fighter. I have seen um, with my own eyes how intense he can be in battle, and he will not back down from a fight. Just because you have any altercation doesn't mean the person has to die. You know what I'm saying? Like, he feels the need to scream he die does, to every person. He does person. say that, however, even though he has said this countless times to Izuku Midoriya, I do not think he actually wants to kill him. I just mm. think he... He's just gets, very overly he competitive. He gets heated and... Bakugo, you don't have to be better than everybody. Hey, let's not... Don't trash on your students. Katsuki it's Bakugo, just you are a very smart kid. Um... You know what you want, and I respect that. Um, it's true, though, you don't need to act so violently towards your own classmates because you don't want to cause problems with the people that you're going to be While, like, beside. being a number one hero is great, don't forget there's other heroes around you that are going to be doing the same thing. So you have yes. to have that mutual respect for people. It's very important, especially if you want allies. Otherwise, if, people are just yes. going to go against and you. And I know that... He has looked up to me his whole life, is almost the same as Izuku Midoriya has. So if you aspire to be like me, then um, try to. I'm not saying like, oh, take my quotes and take, you know, but just try to think of other people more as your allies rather than everyone being an enemy. If you're in a situation, just think, what would All Might do? Yes, that is if, good advice. If you ever looked up to All Might, and you're an aspiring hero, and you're stuck in a situation, just think to yourself, what would All Might do? And then think of what you'd do in that situation, and do that. Because he never did wrong. We're sorry if we offended you, if you watched this video. I'm sorry, students. Um, I love my students. I tried to be nice about it. I don't know so much about Mr. Aizawa. It's nothing personal. It's nothing personal. Don't think I pick favorites. I do not pick favorites in my class. Um, we appreciate you guys watching this video. Um, let us know if you liked it. Um, but we love you so much and we'll see you in the next one.